Hello, my friends. Happy Tuesday. Um, hope you are all doing well today. I am just getting started. Hope you have a, are having a wonderful Tuesday. I'm just pulling up the live on my screen here. Um, just one second. And we will begin in just one moment. Hello, as you are hopping in, say hello. And I have it up on my screen. Just one moment. I am having a little bit of technical difficulties here. There we go. We are live. We are good. And happy Tuesday, my friends. Let me just pull up my comments. Hi, Patty. Welcome in. Oh, do I have? Oh, there we go. Happy Tuesday and welcome back for another episode of Teach It Tuesday with Tammy and Jenny. For those of you that are new to my page, welcome. My name is Tammy Savello and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area and you are on my Cards by TLC page. Today is another sketch challenge. In the 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! annual catalog on page 22, they have given us these fun little layouts for us for those days that we are just not quite creative or we're in creative slumps or just looking for something different. So both Jenny and I are doing a sketch from sketch number five, which is this layout here on the screen. Um, now, our uh, friend, Frenchie Martin, who is a fellow Dem Stampin' Up! demonstrator, she took it to the next level for us. She made things a lot easier and added the sizes and dimensions. So this will be on my, this PDF will be on my blog post tomorrow, um, linking back to her page. But she took it to the next level and made things a lot easier for us. So we are doing sketch number five. And... Just so you know, and sorry guys, I just noticed something in the corner of my eye. I have a little ants laying on my, on my uh, thing, you little stinkers. Anyhow, we are using the spell, uh, por potions and spells bundle today. This is actually an online exclusive in my store. It's not in any of the catalogs, but it is in the online portion of our store. I absolutely love this. It is so fun. I have seen so many amazing projects with this. Some Halloween, some per Harry Potter themed, some punch art. In fact, my friend Angie Dudais did an amazing punch art with I'm making adorable treat holders, doing the punch art, doing this and turning me. So I decided for this week, I thought I would take it to like another level and make cards out of the punch art that she created. So stay tuned for that. It'll be on my uh, Thursday live this week on my YouTube channel. But why are we here today? Let's look at today's project. Today's project is so fun. We are using some of that 2024-2026 um, in color glimmer paper. So I use the green, the shy shamrock, and the petunia pop. Um, I think that's the petunia pop color. <laughs> Anyhow, I decided to do that. So um, let's bring back in that layout. Um, so I kind of took it to a different level. Um, I used the banner with the glimmer, but on this portion right here, the three, two and three quarters by three, I decided it was kind of the same size. So I decided to do the cauldron. And then we're gonna do some um, heat embossing we blended the background, and then on the inside, I added the cute little stamp set spells and potions, and we're gonna do some coloring. So we're kind of doing it all today, but let's go ahead and get started on all of the sizes and dimensions. I'm gonna keep this in here so you guys have that reference. So we are using a top folding card base in basic black, and this is our standard top folding, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I have two basic white panel pieces, one for the fronts, four by five and a quarter, and one for the inside, four by five and a quarter. And then we have our two and a quarter by four and a half piece of glimmer paper that we're gonna cut and banner. 
We are skipping this um, layout because that's our cauldron piece. And then we have a one and a quarter by two that is gonna be our um, sentiment piece. So let's go ahead. I think what we'll do first, um, let's start with the stamping of the inside panel um, that we will color shortly. Let's do all of our sentiment stampings and stuff like that. Let's get all of our stamping out of the way and then we'll go from building our, our pieces. So I have our cute little spells and potions stamp and then our happy Halloween stamp and we're gonna stamp that in Memento Black ink because we're gonna be doing some coloring in a few minutes. But let's go ahead and get the stamping out of the way. Let's get this card base out of the way. I've, like I said, I have seen some amazing projects um, with this bundle and I'm excited to play with it on my live on Thursday. And then our happy Halloween. There we go. And then let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment and get our heat embossing out of the way. So we'll put you off to the side because we're gonna color you in a minute. And then let's bring in that piece of black and then we are stamping the sentiments. Let's pull this back down a little hocus pocus. And we need our Versamark and our embossing buddy. Let's prep our um, cardstock, our little powder there our static remover. And if you don't have the embossing um, buddy, you can use a dry um, a dryer sheet that does the same effect. There we go. Little hocus pocus. Get that out of the way. And I have my embossing powder here. And I love that Stampin' Up! change to the WOW brand embossing powder because it, it really does make a difference. Okay. And I just have this, I just poured it in me my fancy schmancy Dollar Tree. Um container and then I'm gonna heat emboss this sorry for the sound but this is my first love when I first started stamping I absolutely fell in love with heat embossing I thought the magic happening before my eyes let's get there we go I'm going to kind of turn it to where you can kind of see. Okay. Your embossing buddy is missing. Oh no, Patty. That is kind of a bummer. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let that kind of cool down. And let's go ahead and bring in our front panel piece. And we're going to do some blending. I have Petunia Pop right here. And we're just going to come in with my... I kind of wish the um, there wasn't such a glare on my glass mat because that just makes things a lot easier. And I'm not doing anything major on this background. I'm actually just kind of adding some color just a little bit here. And I'm leaving like little, like a, a little splotchy, um, just to add a little bit of dimension to my project. Okay. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll do our coloring 
and get that out of the way. We have our little, notice in here the bubbles of cauldron. So I have already, with the magic of TV, have already die cut out my pieces. We have our cauldron, we have our little goopy stuff, and then our cauldron handle. And then I just, what I did was this stamp, let me show you this stamp right here. This is actually this stamp. I actually just fussy cut the bottom portion of the bubbles out. And that's just going to be right under um, the cauldron. So let's just go ahead and color that. And we have some light petunia pop here. And we're just going to add some color. And I will check comments in a moment. And I was looking for my wink of Stella and I must have misplaced that because um, I could not find it. I wanted to add a, add some fun little glimmer to that. So if you have a wink of Stella, it would be fun to add some shimmer to your bubbles. But unfortunately, I do not have it. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to go ahead and add our glue and attach that to our bubbles, to our cauldron. Oh, we'll, we'll do that in a moment. Let's go ahead and color the inside. Let's go over the colors that we did for our inside portion. So I actually have um peach pie for my color because I felt like uh pumpkin pie was just a little too dark for the books and then I have old olive for our green our light and dark and I have highland heather for our purple and then I also have our color lifter that I'm going to be using for the inside spines of the book so let's go ahead and I'm going to just come in with my dark um peach pie and I'm just going to go around like where the lines are on the books. Just kind of add some darkness and then down here and then I'm going to come in with my light peach pie. And then I'm going to come back in with my dark and darken those spine thing, spine lines up just a portion of it. And then I'm going to bring in my color lifter and kind of give it a distressed lift of the book so it looks a little bit more distressed. Now we're going to come in with our old olive and do our green. And then our light old olive. And then I'm going to come back in with my color lifter and just lighten that up a little bit. And then our Highland Heather. Just kind of go in. This is the dark Highland Heather come in with my light
come back in with my dark. Just kind of do a little bit there, a little bit there. Oops, I went outside my line a little bit, but that's okay. So that is our coloring. Now we can go ahead and start putting this guy together. I can't wait to play with this just a little bit more. Um, I know we're in coming towards the end of summer, but I don't know, after like the end of August, I get into the whole spooky season Halloween vibe. And after Labor Day, my house gets converted over to Halloween and fall. Okay, now, what do you guys think? Let's let me let's put together the cauldron because I'm thinking maybe we should maybe add a few little bubbles coming up, like floating up. So let's go ahead and add our cauldron piece together. Do you think we should add a few little bubbles? Here's our little bubbles. And then our little gooey, goopy piece. Yes, bubbles would be cute. Okay, we are adding bubbles. I'm going to lift this up just a little bit here. Add our handle. Ooh, that was a little aggressive, Mr. Tom. We're going to slide this underneath our cauldron. Come on. There we go. Let that set and then let's go ahead and add our panel down. You know what? Let's, yeah. Okay. Let, let me add the banner. Patty, if you are still in my live, um, let me know if I'm okay. Facebook is Facebooking today. Am I good, guys? I'm just doing a quick sound check. I think I'm okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go forward. Um, sorry about that, my friends. It just really decided to cut out on me. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm seeing myself where we should be good to go. So we're going to add our little banner piece right here at an angle. Okay, I thought I froze up. I even turned my Wi-Fi off and everything. It, I think Facebook was Facebooking. Okay, that is going to come in at an angle. 
Then I'm going to come in with our bubble. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it in petunia pot since I did the bubbles. Don't want them in black, so we'll just do some petunia pop little bubbles here. And then maybe one over here. There we go. That is cute. I'm glad we decided to add the bubbles. Okay, now we'll go ahead and add our panel piece to our front and then add our cauldron and our sentiment. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our cauldron. And I think I'm gonna lay this flat and pop up the sentiments. I popped up the cauldron and I didn't like the way the sentiment laid on the original. So I think I'm gonna do a flat lay on the cauldron and we'll pop up our sentiments. I'm glad we added those bubbles because that just kind of added a little bit more texture to the, the project. And then we have our foam adhesive sheets. And there is our project. So fun, right? We have our spell books on the inside. We have our little um, sentiment and cauldron on the front. But let me go over really quick. I know I didn't go over the, the dies really quick, but it's so cute. It has the cauldron, little potion um, bottles, the um, goopy stuff that comes out, the dies that cut out, the cat, the bird, and the books. And then we have our individual bubbles and then a broomstick is so fun to add for like a cute little hocus or like a Harry Potter themed card. Love the glimmer. I know. I, I absolutely love that glimmer. It screams Halloween to me. So there is our fun little project. That will be it for me today, my friends. I hope that you try this layout, and if you do, please tag me in um, I'm at Cards by TLC on all social media platforms, and all of the um, dimensions, including the PDF, will be on my blog post tomorrow. The, uh, is it the 21st of August already? Um, at CardsbyTLC.com, um, but be sure to catch my friend Jenny on her Facebook page, Stampin' with Jen. That's two ends in Stampin' and two ends with Jen. And she'll be um, live at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. She has a cute project for this layout. But thank you for joining me for another episode of Teach It Tuesday with Tammy and Jenny. And I hope you join me this week for um, my live on YouTube where I show you some fun Halloween cards using the punch art. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time for more creative fun. Bye, everyone.